Taiwan's Lin Yuting is up for at least a silver medal at the Paris Olympics as she competes in the women's boxing final. But her Olympic run has been marred by questions over her gender. The controversy started after she failed an undisclosed test by the International Boxing Association in 2023. And despite Lin being cleared to compete by the Olympics Commission this year, it's done little to dispel speculation about her eligibility. To find out more about sex testing in sports, Gino Lopez spoke to Shane Heffernan, a senior lecturer of sports and exercise sciences at Swansea University in the UK. The International Boxing Association, or IBA, this week tried to shed light on the sex test that Lin Yuting allegedly failed back in 2023. What did they say? Well, I guess the, the press conference that was that uh, the IBA had uh, during the week kind of re revealed as much as they were willing to reveal, which was very little, um, about the nature of the test. And certainly the IOC's position on that is that they, are, they don't necessarily believe what they've been told. Given the controversies around the particular organization and the interactions that that organization has had with the Olympics recently. Multiple media have speculated that these athletes may have differences in sexual development, or DSD. With this, how effective is sex testing in determining who is eligible to compete in a sports men's or women's category? So that would that would depend on the eligibility criteria that we're specifically talking about. So, for example, if if the eligibility criteria was the presence of a chromosome makes you ineligible, then that test is is relatively easy to conduct. There are other versions of of this type of test where you look for a specific genomic region called the SRY gene. Certainly, individuals with a DSD, which, by the way. For the record, we certainly do not know that these two athletes have. It would depend on, on what what the organization in question determines as the eligibility criteria. Um, if the question is whether there is whether DSD athletes have an advantage or not, there's zero information that it confers or denies the presence of an advantage in uh, in DSD athletes. Amidst these different standards of sex testing across different sports organizations. What steps must the IOC take in order to avoid this kind of controversy in the future? Previously, the IOC used to carry out sex testing. Um, I think that was kind of eradicated in the in the 2000s. And certainly the IOC's criteria in this case is the athlete passport um, and the declaration of the of the athletes themselves. So the, the, I guess the fundamental question is, should DSD athletes be eligible to compete in the female category? If they were to be DSD individuals, uh, it wouldn't matter for the IOC anyway. So what the IOC could do, I suppose, in future is to kind of be a bit more stringent on their eligibility policy and use the best available evidence to determine those policies.